Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is the January 2nd edition, 2018, and most of us have gone back to work today. So I hope this finds you doing well. Maybe you're headed back to work or you're coming home from work and you're listening to a little five-minute broadcast here, studying the Psalms verse by verse, of course. That is Daily Dose Radio, five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. And you've entered what I like to call the Bible Bistro. This is the place where we have it served hot and fresh for you every day. So come on in, sit down. We're looking today at Psalm 31. We're going to do the second half today through Friday. 12 verses. We're going to divide it up three verses apiece each day. Today, boy, there's some fine devotional content here, and I just hope that you'll stay tuned and listen to the whole broadcast because we've got some good stuff here. Let me just read to you from my translation beginning in verse 13. For I hear the many whispers, terror on every side. In an assembly, they united against me. They plan to take away my life, but I, upon you, I trust, O Lord. I said, You are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and those who persecute me. So, like I said, some wonderful devotional content right here. In these verses, these three verses, here we have the whispers. Remember uh, Jesus here? I I mean, you you can't hardly read this and not hear the voice of the Savior. It's like he's telling us the story of his passion, the whispers, the many whispers, terror on every side. They wanted to kill him. They were planning. They were so bound and determined. It was almost like a a frenzied uh, attack that they made upon his life. Terror on every side, excuse me, whispers on every side. And then we have this in an assembly, they united against me. And where was that? Well, we know that they held a council. And that council was to decide how to take away his life and what would be the method and the manner that they would use. And so they devised that. They plan to take away my life, Jesus says. Well, he's telling us exactly what's going to happen to Messiah, and this is exactly what does happen. And you can hear the Savior saying these very words. But I upon you, I trust, O Lord. I said, and here's a quote, you are my God. Isn't that beautiful? Even in the darkest moment, this should be our confession. I trust in you, O God. You are my God. What a beautiful statement of faith. What a grand confession. What a, I mean, this is just one of those times when he's facing the cross, and yet, in the midst of that, we can hear him praying at Gethsemane, Not my will, but thine be done. Take this cup from me, but rather... Not my will, but thine be done. So here we, he's basically putting his entire trust in the Lord. And he says, you are my God. Look at verse 15. This right here is, boy, this is powerful. Your times, or my times, are in your hand. Deliver me. Do you believe that? Do you believe that your times are in his hand? Because they are. Whether you believe it or not really is irrelevant because your times are in his hand. I just had a relative pass away. Actually, I had an aunt and an uncle pass away within 24 hours of one another recently. Her death was sudden. His was expected. But they didn't know that they would you know, pass that quickly. And I wondered to myself as I was meditating on this 15th verse, did she, did he understand that their time was in the Lord's hand. Do we know that? There are, you know, only so many minutes that your life is going to progress to, and then you'll expire. What's going to happen after that? And what happens within the barriers, the boundaries of birth to death? All of those minutes, what are you doing with it? Your times are in his hands, but what are you doing with the time that he's given you? He's given you just so much what are, how are you employing yourself in that time period? From the hand of my enemies and those who persecute me, deliver me. That's a good prayer. And I hope you'll pray today and consider 
Your times are in His hands. What are you going to do in those moments? Join me again tomorrow. We'll look at verses 16, 17, and 18 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.